Hi ladies, this is Ashley Kay, and have you ever wanted to know what are the signs that a guy is into you? Now I know there's so many videos and articles on this particular topic and I think there's no point covering things that are really obvious. I think most women have a natural feel for this kind of stuff anyway. I mean, you know ladies, you know when a guy is giving you attention, is making you feel good and he's making himself stand out, uh, amongst all the other guys who don't do that. Okay, you know, you already know this. So the distinction I'm going to give in this particular video is the nuances of what is behind that attention this guy is giving you. What is his true intentions? So when you understand these signs, and I hope you'll get better at reading guys after this video, is you'll be able to quickly and easily Categorize, categorize guys into two categories. So the guy who is into you for the right reasons and the guy who's into you for the wrong reasons. And there's a lot of those out there, okay? But it's important too, I'll show you at the end of this video, why you need both type of guys in your life. So let's get into the signs. First sign you should look for is a consistent pattern of attention from him. Now, this is a difference between these two type of guys is that one, it will, you'll notice a slow and consistent type of attention versus fast, intense and sporadic kind of attention. So the guy with the good intentions, he's probably more likely going to escalate his attention, escalate his, his contact with you slowly and consistently. You know, he's not going to be bombarding you with messages, talking about relationship talk and um, complimenting you like super intense like that. Uh, he's not going to be doing that because actually when you think about it, that's kind of weird that a guy would do that when he doesn't even know you. So a more natural progression is just he'll slowly get to know you and, in, uh, and escalate that over time. However, if you notice the guy is coming on super strong, you know, he... You just met him and now he's bombarding you with love messages, talking about relationship stuff, talking about how amazing you are, even though he doesn't even know you. This is a clear red flag, okay? This kind of guy will probably be the type to disappear for months and then come back again. You want to avoid those. Those are the wrong type of guys. Sign number two, he initiates contact seven out of ten times. In my personal experience, this is one of the more accurate ways to gauge a guy's interest level. So how, how do you use this exactly? So here, I'll give you an example. So in the beginning, you might have may have noticed uh, a guy is giving you a lot of attention. Okay, he is initiating all the time. He's initiating every day, every other day. And then slowly that may have pitted off. And now you've found that you're the one doing all the initiating. So the ratio, if you count it up all the times you've spoken, um, count up how many times he initiated and how many times you initiated, the ratio becomes balanced 50-50, let's say. So what I recommend you do is actually to hold off initiating any more contact and wait to see if he balances it out to about 70 30. So he should notice the fact that, oh, you're not initiating anymore um, and I need to initiate more. I need to keep things going. I need to keep interactions going. I need to keep escalating. He should, if he's into you for the right reason, he will naturally do this because he's into you, right? If he's not doing this, um, then I would say his interest level uh, isn't as pure. So he may be into you, but maybe for the wrong reasons, maybe only when he's bored, only when there's no one else to talk to or, you know, something else. So you, you, of course, he's in that, the second category of guys. So number three, he invests more than you. When you're first dating a guy, you should naturally notice how much effort he is willing to put in courting you, you know, but you, if you're noticing that, you know, for example, um, you're doing more for him than he's willing to do for you. So for example, you're always driving to his house or you always need to change your schedules around for him. Um, 
you know, and he's always willing to do the bare minimum stuff. Like he's, he doesn't really try very hard. Then he's the type of guy that he's probably into you, but not for the right reasons. Okay. He just wants you for his own selfish gain for his, for sex or when he's lonely, you know, that kind of, that kind of guy. The guy who's into you for the right reasons will put in more effort. They will naturally do this. And especially if he's an alpha male, but it doesn't even matter if he's an alpha male or he's shy or um, whatever kind of personality. As long as the guy's into you, he will naturally put in more effort to see that your interactions become um, more intense, you bond more, you spend more time together. He will naturally do this. Sign number four, he compliments you on a personality trait. So personality trait compliments way more heavily than the physical compliments. So for example, if he's telling you um, that you know, you're really worldly, you're very smart, you are perceptive, you know, things to do with your personality, then they're really, really good signs that he's into you for the right reasons. If he's only giving you superficial kind of compliments like you're beautiful, you're hot, you're sexy, you're cute. That stuff doesn't really mean much as much, okay? Sign number five, he thinks through his answers. When a guy is uh, willing to put more effort into answering your questions and uh, he's thinking through your questions, so he's making sure he's trying to answer correctly, he's trying to uh, answer the right way, then that means he cares about what you think of him. And when a guy cares about what you think, it means he's in it not just for himself. He's not just in it for sex or um, you know for the short term. He's actually thinking quite long term, which is a very good sign. Number six, he, when you go to his place, you notice that his room in particular and his, and his bathroom is clean, okay? If, a, if you go to a man's house and you know there's stuff everywhere, it's a mess, it's dirty, his toilet's dirty, it just shows that he has not bothered to put any effort in to impress you. So once again, if a guy's not trying to impress you at all, if he's just being a slob, being himself, it means that he doesn't care, okay? If he doesn't care to impress you, that means he, his interest level isn't that high or you know he's only into you for once again, selfish reasons, not for a relationship. And lastly, number seven, he tries to sell himself on what a great boyfriend he would make. So if you've noticed in your conversation, he says things like how loyal and committed he is in a relationship, how disapproving he is of other guys who treat their women badly, you know, how he's never cheated on a girl before, how he used to be a player, but now he's changed and he wants uh, he's ready for a relationship, things like that. That means he's trying to sell himself that he would make a good boyfriend. You know, a guy wouldn't bother to do this unless he's thinking long term. So those are the kind of guys who are definitely into you for the right reasons. If um, you're seeing someone who's in it for the wrong reasons, if you notice, and you probably know this, right? He's not really giving you the amount of respect, attention that you deserve then that's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? And I'll tell you why. A lot of people assume that when we're single, we should be strong, independent, uh, we should be happy without a guy. We should just be able to um, be just happy with our lives, right? When actually, in order to develop healthy self-esteem, we can't just you know go into a room by ourselves and tell ourselves how amazing we are. We need outside people, outside sources to tell us we're amazing, we're wonderful, we're, you know, worthy. Um, we need that to reconfirm that, you know, we're accepted for who we are, we're respected for who we are, we're loved for who we are. That is important too. And I think how you can use this is that when you do come across these wrong kind of guys, Instead of just focusing on the negatives, on the fact that, oh, this guy's pulling away now, he's not giving me attention, he's lowering my self-esteem, he's making me feel bad about myself, I feel bad about myself now. Instead of focusing on that, I want you to be able to use these guys 
as an ego boost. Make yourself feel good, okay? Recognize which type he is though, first of all, this is the wrong type. He's using, him, he's using you for his own selfish gain. Well, you're going to use him for your own selfish gain too. And this is a good thing because another word for selfish is someone who gives love to themselves, who puts themselves first. And you absolutely need to do that to be a healthy uh, person, to you know, have a healthy level of love for yourself. So if those kind of guys are doing that for themselves, you're going to do the same and you should not feel any kind of guilt or anything about it. So, you know, when a guy gives you a compliment, even though it's, it's empty, it's superficial compliment, or he's giving you attention, or he's texting you, he wants you to go to his place, he's calling you, I want you to just soak in that attention. Really make yourself feel good that, hey, you're desired. <laughs> a guy wants you. That's you're a desirable person. Men want you. Keep telling yourself that. But instead of what you a lot of women do, which is to... Uh, go chasing after more of that validation, more of that approval from that particular guy. Recognize, no, he's not good for me. I will take, uh, I will take his compliments and his attention uh, to boost myself up right now. But I'm not going to entertain that person anymore. Okay, save your investments, save your efforts on the right kind of guys, the guys who are willing to invest in you. Okay, save your energy for those types and use the other types to boost your self-esteem. <laughs> Some women uh, get so um, upset at the fact that, you know, some random guy on the street is complimenting, com complimenting them or um, whistling at them or making some kind of remark and they feel like they're a piece of meat, okay? They get so upset over this. When I say, instead of looking at the negatives of that interaction, how about focus on the fact that, hey, you're desired, right? Take the positives from it and that's it. You know, do what you need to, to make yourself feel good, to show, give love to yourself. And it's the things you think about, it's also what you extract from uh, other people's interactions with you too. That's going to help raise your self-esteem. I go deeper into these points on my blog. So you can check out at ashleyk.com. There's an article in there for this video. And it goes into much more de depth about these points. If you have anything, any comments, if you disagree with me, if you're currently seeing someone, please you know, tell me your situation or ask any more questions that you have. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, I'll see you soon in another video. Talk soon.